Good evening, um, radically reduced audience. Thank you tremendously much, Facebook. But in any case, um, we are going to begin reading the first book of Chronicles today. Now, um, First Chronicles chapter 1, in fact, First Chronicles chapters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 are um, one of those what on earth is going on passages of the scripture because they are made up almost entirely of a list of names. Now, um, Book of Chronicles covers a lot of the same ground as the Books of Kings, but where the kings, uh, the Books of Kings are trying to establish a historical narrative through which God's action in uh, in his world and among his people can be shown. Chronicles gets it the other way around. It's principally interested in the theological lessons of history and making a theological point. And the theological point is the way in which God's plans work out through history and the way in which God works through his people and the uh, the inevitable travel of God's uh, God's plan towards its conclusion and fulfilment. And what's happening in First Chronicles 1 was well, a list of names from Adam um, down to the chiefs of Edom. Um, whenever you look at these genealogies and you compare them to other genealogies in the Old Testament, they aren't quite exactly the same. And I think that's because they aren't necessarily lists of fathers and sons or fathers and grandsons or fathers and great grandsons. They are lists of descendants. Um, I really don't think that it's an appropriate way to use scripture to try and work out how old the earth is or how long the biblical era was. Um, this is what it is. Take it as it is. In some ways it's like, um, well I suppose schoolboys going into an exam might take a, a very abbreviated set of signposts and notes uh, written on the back of their hand and it's like that. Whenever people saw the names Adam, Seth, Enosh, they were meant to remember the stories that they had been told and the biblical readings that they had had read to them about Adam, Seth and Enosh. So the story is carried through the words uh, denoting the people who took part in the story. Um, it's a bit tedious to listen to if you're not jammed up on those stories, mind you. But we have actually looked at them over the past year or so in our Bible readings. First Chronicles chapter 1. This is the word of God. Adam, Seth, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham and Japheth, the sons of Japheth, Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshach and Teras, the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Ripha and Togarma, and the sons of Javan, Elisha, Tarshish, the Kittites, and the Rodanites, the sons of Ham, Cush, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan, the sons of Cush, Seba, Havila, Sapta, Rama, and Sabteca, the sons of Rama, Sheba, and Dedan. Cush was the father of Nimrod, who began to be a mighty one on the earth. Mizraim was the father of the Ludites, the Anamites, the Lehabites, the Naphthodites, the Parathutites, the Kashluhites, from whom the Philistines came, and the Kaphtorites. And Canaan was the father of Sidon, his firstborn, and of the Hittites, the Jebusites, the Amorites, the Girgashites, the Hevites, the Arctites, and the Sinites, the Arvatites, the Zemertites, and the Hamathites, the sons of Shem, Elam, Asher, Arphaxad, Lud, and Aram, the sons of Aram, Uz, Hul, Gether, and Meshach. Arphaxad was the father of Shelah, and Shelah was the father of Eber. Two sons were born to Eber. One was named Peleg, because in his days the earth was divided, and his brother was named Joktan. And Joktan was the father of Almodad, Shefla, Hazarmavath, Jera, Hadoram, Uzal, Dekla, Obal, Abimael, Sheba, Ufer, Havila, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan. So from Shem came Arphaxad, Shelah, Eber, Peleg, Ru, Serug, Nahor, Terah, and Abram, that is, Abraham. 
The sons of Abraham were Isaac and Ishmael. These are their genealogies. Nebaioth, the firstborn of Ishmael, then Kedar, Adbil, Mibsham, Mishma, Duma, Masa, Hadad, Tema, Jeter, Nafish, and Kedema. These were the sons of Ishmael. The sons born to Keturah, Abraham's concubine, Zimran, Jokshan, Midan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. The sons of Jokshan, Sheba, and Dedan, the sons of Midian, Epha, Epher, Hanoch, Abada, and Elda. All these were Keturah's sons. Abraham was the father of Isaac. The sons of Isaac, Esau, and Israel. The sons of Esau, Eliphaz, Ru, Jush, Jalam, and Korah. The sons of Eliphaz, Teman, Umar, Zephu, Gatam, and Kenaz, and by Timna, Amalek. The sons of Ruel, Nahath, Zerah, Shama, and Miza. The sons of Seir, Lutan, Shubal, Zibian, Anna, Dishon, Ezer, and Dishon. The sons of Lutan, Hori, and Homam. Timna was Lutan's sister. The sons of Shubal, Alvan, Mahanath, Ebal, Shefnu, and Unam. The sons of Zibian, Aya, and Anna. The sons of Anna, Dishon. The sons of Dishon, Hemdan, Eshban, Ithran, and Keran. The sons of Ezer, Bilhan, Zavan, and Akan. The sons of Dishan, Uz, and Aran. These are the kings who reigned over the land of Edom before any king reigned over the Israelites. Bela, the son of Beor, his city was named Dinhaba. When Bela died, Jobab, son of Zerah from Bozrah, reigned in his place. When Jobab died, Husham from the land of the Temanites reigned in his place. When Husham died, Hadad, son of Bedad, who defeated Midian in the country of Moab, reigned in his place, and the name of his city was Ave. When Hadad died, Samla from Mashreka reigned in his place. When Samla died, Shol from Rehoboth on the Euphrates reigned in his place. When Shol died, Balhanan, son of Achbor, reigned in his place. When Balhanan died, Hadad reigned in his place. His city was named Paul, and his wife's name was Mehetapel, daughter of Matred, the daughter of Mehzabab. Then Hadad died. The chiefs of Edom were Timna, Alva, Jethan, Ohulamaba, Ela, Pinon, Kenaz, Teman, Mibzar, Magdal, and Aram. These were the chiefs of Edom.